hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Yep. I'm gonna need you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Uh Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or passing. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, etc, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. Salute to Snake Eyes. It's come up, everything that he's done. The battles. Uh, you know, making it from the bottom. Taking his own route. Doing his thing with his career. Getting on bags and bodies. The twerk battle. Almost 700,000 views. Etc, etc. You know what I'm saying? What you've been doing is making your own mark in battle rap. You came in, you was on URL for a little minute, you went off, you went here, you went there, and now you're finding your place. But Rex crawled so you could walk. Um, I'm gonna say this, the recycling, like the recycling, it's nasty work. When I recycle, it's some of the best dog, but I get it. I ain't smoke enough of you niggas yet, so I'm still getting slept on. Y'all niggas be cooking, but I'm trying to bring more flavor to this shit like I brought my Raymond noodle pack to that mess hall. <laughs> Uh -huh. Put it right in their eyes. Watch out they spirits. What boss? That I had in the stash from 09 and Wash. That I had in the stash from 09 and Wash. In prison. Cypher was some of the best dog, but I get it. Cypher was some of the best dog, but I get it. You ain't seen a nigga like me yet, so you here getting stepped on. I ain't smoke enough for you niggas yet, so I'm still getting slept on. Y'all rappers be cooking. Y'all niggas be cooking. But I'm trying to bring more flavor to this shit like I brought my ramen noodle pack to that mess hall. But I'm trying to bring more flavor to this shit like I brought my ramen noodle pack to that mess hall. Tech drawn. Tech drawn. Lift it right in this eyes. Watch how his spirit slip. Put it right in your eyes and make your spirit slip. You wasn't even on my radar. You got forced on a killer list if you got forced on my killer list if you owe me bread and ain't got it when I come and get the chips. You owe me bread and ain't got it when I come and get the chips. Metro North workers on the train, we gonna walk through clipping shit. Metro North workers on the train, I'ma walk through clipping shit. Differences, differences. I was preparing this shit like, what have you gonna tell I? I was with boss that I had in the stash. Okay. This whole recycling issue is nasty work. I was sent this clip of you using the same bars in three rounds. It may be a slogan. You you might have a slogan now. You might be able to take that ramen noodles in the mess hall and all that and make it a slogan now. Boy, ain't no fucking spin way, this and make boy, this no possible. Way, I'm only here to help you. Now I know, you know, there's gonna, I, I seen a lot of varying comments. I even think I seen Shotgun Sugar comment, those are his bars, you know what I'm saying? At least they're his bars or something like that. At least, at least they are his bars. <laughs> What do I have to say about that? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. At least that his bar show. I fucks with you. I like you. Come up. I love what you did this year. You're one of. You'll probably win battle rap of the year. You know what I'm saying? You could. You are there on a lot of people's list. But there is. We are not. That's not the way. That is not the way. Uh, I can see. I can't see. But I've seen instances where people have used the line. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say we say Donovan Mitchell, right? Hit to the calves, fall at jazz, Donovan Mitchell, right? Like, we'll say that, right? You get sent, it gets sent to your calf for the jazz like Donovan Mitchell, right? Let's just say that's the little scheme, right? I'm plotting to get you, my mob is gonna hit you, send something to your calves for all that jazz like Donovan Mitchell. I just made this up, right? I'm nice like that, right? So, if the nigga flipped that same line, and it's his line, right? Everybody's heard Donovan Mitchell. Woo. Uh, my squadron will hit you. I'm plotting to get you two, three shot cab Donovan Mitchell. Like you flipped your, you took your own line. You took the jazz out, but you said Donovan Mitchell again. People will get mad, but it's just you flipping your line. What Snake Eyes did was use the whole round. They said uh, Battle City from like 2016, RBE, and now Bags and Bodies. It's the second instance on Bags and Bodies where a nigga's recycling. Rock did it with his Mike P rounds, now Snake is doing it with this. This is a premium service, right? This is a service that y'all provide. You're saying it's a TV show, right? Is it a reality show? Because this ain't reality, using the same round three times in a row. I'm sorry, it's just not. It is not. There's no way you're going to be able to get around that. 
But what I will say is this, um, Snake Eyes could learn from this, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people will just bomb on him and go crazy on him, but it is news, you know what I'm saying? Some people will talk about it, some people won't. But I will say this, when Rock recycled his rounds, we gave it to him. When Twerk recycled his rounds, niggas gave it to him. When he was going from battle to battle using the same raps, see, y'all niggas think this is Fight Club. A lot of niggas came up in the Fight Club era, and in the Fight Club era, you could just have 10 verses and just battle anybody. You just go from person to person to person and there was no such thing as recycling because it was mixtape bars. It's something we gotta deal with. But this battle rap is 2023 and I will say this, right? The fans are gonna get you. It don't even be, because a lot of the times y'all be like, how y'all even know about that? Who's doing the research, bro? Bloggers or big name people that's in media. They don't have time to sit there and watch your battles, go back, find where you said there. I, I promise you, I barely even got time to blog. I blog like once this week. I don't be having the fucking time. So, um, but I'm off today, so you know, I got time. But the fans will. They will do the due diligence and send that shit to you. Like, yo, he said it in this battle. He said it in that battle. You know how many times they send me lines that somebody said or they think somebody tenfold or somebody took a line? I get it probably at least every week or every other week. But when I seen this starting to pick up traction and people talking about it, I watched the clip and I'm like, he like ramen noodles. He like ramen noodles. I like ramen noodles. But I don't like ramen noodles enough to use this shit three times in a row. I will say this, Snake, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you half a pass, but I'm, I, you know what I'm saying, this will be the only time that I talk about this shit. Cause I think you got good enough people around you, competent enough people around you, including your manager, that will make sure that you're in a position to do the things that you gotta do and you ain't out here doing this. I believe that much. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him personally and shit like that. I just know from the way he moves and the things that he's done that I know you got the right people around you that's gonna be like, nah, you can't be moving like this. Now, you know, I did see a blog yesterday from Chris Unbias where he said something that was very, uh, that, I, that, I, that caught my mind. He was like, yo, when they in these positions, sometimes they be in like the house and they battling and like, yo, we need you to come up with three rounds in an hour. Well, that shit is not even really possible like that. Like, you know, they be like, oh man, somebody going home two hours, y'all gonna battle. Niggas is not coming up with no material in two hours, I'm sorry. Maybe DNA, you know what I'm saying, because he could freestyle, or maybe some of the other MCs that can really freestyle, but most MCs is not coming up with no brand new material in no hour, no two hours, or whatever the scenarios be in the show, right? So, uh, it's on bags and bodies. It's the second instance of somebody recycling on bags and bodies. Am I here to tear that show down? No, I'm not. I talked about the show once, you know what I'm saying, and that was pretty much the end of it. You know, I don't recap every episode. I ain't gonna recap every episode. I was not there when they shot it. I was not at the premiere or none of that other shit because, you know, him and he'll pick and choose who he want to deal with. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can pick and choose. You want this person there, you want that person there. That's cool. But I personally am not gonna be recapping every episode because it's, it, it's, it's cool, but it ain't nothing for me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have no dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's one of them things where they be like, <clears throat> I don't wish you no bad, but I don't wish nothing at all. It's like, if, it's, if, it, if it blows, it blows. Like, salute to them, and I hope everything works well. But, um, these clips coming out. <laughs> third time, nigga said, third time's the charm. When I reused it the first time, nobody caught it. I like it. He got a good sense of thought, if you think about it. I recycled the first time. Nobody said nothing about it. I was on RBE, you know what I'm saying? Nobody was really checking for that battle, so I recycled the first time. I did it again on Bags and Body, you know? I thought I was, he thought he was gonna get, he got away with it, but he didn't get away with it, you know what I'm saying? And um, the fans was on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see a lot of clips, a lot of people talking about the shit. But I must say this. Um, do I feel like Snake Eyes is talented? Yes. Do I feel like he's finding his way? He's making, a, you know what I'm saying? He's making his thing. And this is the main reason why this is an issue when it comes to the recycling shit. Because the way Snake be talking, I'm that nigga, I'm the main nigga in the house. And when you be talking like that, you can't talk big. And then when it comes down to the company, because look, all right, I'm going to give you a better scenario, all right, before I get out of here. You battling bad news who's doing his best to bring fire material. And the battle's fire overall. I'm still saying the battle's good, but there's no way I have Snake winning this battle. Not with using a whole round from another battle. There's absolutely no way. No fucking way. Bad News won. I don't even care what the count was. But you got an MC like Bad News who's bringing fire. 
and y'all have a potential one of them battles of the year. I can't make this battle of the year with no top 10. I can't. Like, there's no way. I could not pick this battle and say this is one of my top 10 battles of the year no more. Nigga, recycle the whole round. What are we doing here? And, and I know everybody not going to say it the same, but I don't be in spaces. I don't need no friends. I don't need no special relationships. I do this shit with me and just Showtime SP. So I could say it because I don't care how somebody else feels about my opinion. Just like they shouldn't care. I shouldn't care about their opinion or anyone else's opinion about the shit that I say. I'm going to say what I want. And that's the end of it. But um, I do feel like he's talented, but I do feel like this type of shit takes away from a fire battle. So let's look at it like this, right? Let's say that was the $100,000 battle, right? Or however much money. I don't even know how much money was on the show. Like I said, i seen an episode or two, but I don't follow it. Let's say this was a battle for the money, like the bag, the real situation, the bag. And you won that battle with that round. How does the other person feel? Do they feel cheated? Do they feel slighted? You just won a whole bag and you use this material from another battle. Yeah, that can't happen. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of Snake Eyes battles and I, I've shown Snake Eyes love and I've recapped his battles before. I recapped when he battled Matt Hoffman and brought Bonnie Godiva out. I remember when he did the two on two with the one eye Willie nigga. So this ain't hate because a lot of y'all will be quick to grab a clip and say, hey, over out of hate and to use a clip. The truth sound like hate to niggas who hate the truth. You cannot be on platforms where niggas is charging money to watch, like apps and uh, this and that. You gotta pay to see it, and you're using material from other battles. It doesn't matter who it is. It's not, this is not for him. This is nasty work across the board. It doesn't matter who it is. It could be Lux, it could be Rock. But Rock did that shit with the Mike P and the Mike Ro and Mike, Mike, Mike. I let him, I told him, bro, you can't. I get it, what you was trying to do, but. You know, niggas tore Rock down for a battle with a fake Mike Tyson. He wasn't even battling nobody. He was just spitting bars. But the fact remained, the fact remained that he used bars from another battle. Um, but I went in this on a positive note, you know what I'm saying? It's 2023. Uh, hopefully he grows from this and hopefully that he knows that you, they're, they're out there. I'm just going to say that. I hope you know this is your lesson that... If you use material from any other battle, somebody's gonna find it. I'ma just say it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna go too hard. I ain't, you know what I'm saying, gonna be on no, oh, y'all share the snake. I think, I'm not gonna hate on him, because I don't hate him. I think he's a talented MC. I think he's from Harlem. I think he found his way. I love when he battled Ryder. What was the bar that he said versus Ryder? Let me see. Uh, 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 he said the clip spray in the garden, like where the Knicks play, in the Madness Sun. He said, uh, he said, when they get empty, I switch hands and bang with the left like Starks did MJ. Nigga, I remember your bars. There's no blogger. Even the niggas you be around is not going to remember your shit. I remember your shit because it meant a lot. It was you coming out the gutter earning that shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. When they get empty, I switch clips and bang with the left like Starks did MJ when you was battling Ryder, nigga. I was there. When Ryder had the fucking Adele the hello from the other side, nigga, I remember you from the start. So what I'm going to say is this before we get out of here. Uh, this is a blip on the radar. It's nasty work, but the, the answer to this is to just not do it again. Like, take every battle the way you're supposed to. Don't recycle material. Don't take two battles in two weeks or some shit, whatever you can't handle. You know what I'm saying? Because the higher you rise, you want to rise. Your team wants you to rise. Your management wants you to rise. The higher you rise, the more eyes are going to be on you. And the more people are going to be listening to your bars, watching your battles, and trying to figure out if you said some shit before. These niggas is looking up battles you had in 2017, dog. 17? Like, I don't know where they get this shit from, but it comes around and it gets around. I'm going to say this, man. Um, salute to Snake Eyes. <laughs> but you cannot. That was like... <laughs> and it wasn't... It's your slogan now, my nigga. I like Raymond Noodles. I do. You know what I'm saying? Raymond Noodles. Walk through click this shit. Metro work, Metro North workers. On. And when you said the line, I swear, I was like... I thought in my mind, like, Metro North workers in the train, I walked through, clip this shit. And I could, I don't got the mind to remember that, but, but trust me, there's some niggas online who's going to find it. We gonna, this is your first time, it's like in, in the NFL, you know, you get caught on steroids, first defense, you get like a four game suspension, then they progressively move up. I think Snake Eyes got the talent, but, uh, <laughs> I'm about, man. I'm going to the Metro North so I can walk through and cut this shit. <laughs> oh, God.